guys what's up it is your girl Casey welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome 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 and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back um, I actually am recording this video later on so I'm gonna get to insert this portion of the video now and then I'll be back hey guys what's up it is your girl Casey I did kind of want to give you guys an update about Jeju it's actually Jeju not Jeju or I don't know it's an island in Korea so that's basically where they got the concept for but it was not what I was expecting so I just wanted to give you a quick update before I do my makeup and get dressed for whatever I got this little tube top thing on y'all so that's probably why it looked like I don't have no clothes on but um the sauna the pool like the whole experience was really good it was just very different it was not what i was expecting i was not able to record because like it was like 35 dollars to enter and then once you came in you had to take your shoes off and put them in the lockers and then they gave us like these little orange tops and orange shorts I kind of felt like i was in like an orange jumpsuit like am i going to jail am i checking into a mental institution or what like what's going on basically we got in there and we was like asking one of the you know people that work there like you know what's going on like what are we supposed to do because like there was like a bunch of ladies like walking around. I don't know if I can say it, but it was giving the Garden of Eden, basically. <laughs> so like, um, but just all women. And then of course they had the men's side. Well, I'm sure the men was probably doing that the same on the other side. So we look like, what? And it was like, yeah, you gotta like remove everything, put it in your lockers, no phones, no watches, no nothing. Because like, you know, everybody's in the Garden of Eden basically it was a little uncomfortable at first because like i mean i'm confident in my body or whatever i don't feel like uncomfortable showing my body around other people or whatever but it was just like a little weird and y'all know i'm in school for hygiene dental hygiene so i'm looking like it's a little disgusting like it's a little nasty to be getting a jacuzzi with people that's you know like and it's like 40 women like walking around I guess I just got over it and I was just like, whatever, let me just try to experience it and then pray to God that I don't walk out of here with no yeast infection or nothing because, girl, no. We got in the hot jacuzzi, there's a warm jacuzzi, there was an ice cold, like an ice cold jacuzzi. They had a dry sauna, a wet sauna. It just felt so relaxing, like it released all of like any type of negative energy that I had in my body, any type of positive energy. It was all that energy was just gone, honey. <laughs> so it was just like, I just felt clean like a clean slate like everything was just wiped out like i just felt like i was in korea in a whole different country especially like the um the wet sauna it was just like very moist in there so like it opened up all your pores you just kind of sitting there and they do kind of give you like a little hand towel which kind of looked like like this size i was like what am i what <laughs> so it was like this size to sit on things so you can sit on like the benches and the sauna with this or you can sit on like the um the little stools that they had in the wet sauna stuff like that and then they had like a common area where um whew, sorry i'm out of breath y'all i don't know why <laughs> but they had a common area where you can um you can eat and you didn't have no shoes on but you did need to put on your outfit um your clothes because um obviously there was men there so men was in a common area women's in a common area and it might have been like one or two kids there which i don't even know why they allow kids to go up in there i was like is this legit is this legal or i don't i don't know but it was very peaceful and chill they gave you like a little wristband with your number on it i literally felt like an inmate like like i checked myself in or some shit like like my i didn't have a name i didn't have an image or anything it was just my number <laughs> so anything i wanted we just got a number we also got a yoni steam so like i just felt like that was just so good like everything was just like pulling out of that so they just got, gave us these capes and we were like like i said garden of eden <laughs> and then they gave us these capes and then we kind of sat like on top of these stools and it had like this pot under it with these like herbal these herbal teas and all that stuff or whatever herbal stuff that they had in the pot cooking it up and it was hot and it just kind of goes steam up into like your vaginal area so it was really good i would say and then like you can go to the common area like i said you can eat food there there was other saunas um and the other saunas that they had in the common area like men and women could go in there and then you had your clothes on but it was just like very hot in there so they had like a salt one they had um what was it it was like different kinds and like on the outside it kind of explained to you what it was and they also told you you can stay the night i was like girl who the hell stay the night at the sauna child it was a lot going on there but you can get your nails done there you can get your feet done you can get a body scrub which we was i wasn't doing i, I can do a body scrub in the shower if i want to because i felt like it was just like wiping your body down 
I mean, obviously, it, it was using like a scrub or whatever, but I was like, I could do that to myself. And then you're around a whole bunch of other women doing that. So I'm like, I thought it was going to be private, but it was an experience. But would I go back? I don't know. I mean, I will say I left very rejuvenated, very like calm and relaxing and very peaceful. But it was giving like, like what? <laughs> you know, so I don't know. That's just my experience. But um, let me just stop talking because I know I can run my mouth up real quick and I can be chatting it up because you know your girl can talk, honey. But I'm super excited because I'm about to um do my makeup. We'll take some photos real quick for this company that um wants to shout me out. So I'm just super excited about the opportunity. So I have my um uh, my accessories that I showed y'all, and I'm gonna wear this black dress and I got this bandeau top on with these like spanx looking shorts. It's just gonna make me look very smooth and sleek um, under my clothing. So I'm about to do my makeup for that now. I'm gonna curl my hair. I am gonna keep it up in like this little clip because I just think it would be cute with that. And I'm gonna kind of show y'all the outfit a little bit later. I'm actually a little upset because I was supposed to have like some outfits from another company that sponsored me. And I was gonna take pictures of their outfits and then send these pictures to this company so that way they can like shout me out on their own. Um, which I can't really go into details, but um, so I was gonna send them the photos and from that outfit, but that outfit, those outfits never came yet, so I'm just like a little upset about that. But it, it is what it is. I just posted it in my closet, and that's that. So I'm about to do my makeup real quick, and I'm gonna talk to y'all a little later. accessories that I will be wearing for today um these cuffs that um these bracelets I got from Shein the earrings are from Shein and the rings are actually everything is from Shein <laughs> I don't know why I'm bugging I've been had this like um alligator looking faux alligator looking metallic purse um it kind of looks like a Bottega um but I'm gonna wear that with this black dress which I'll kind of pop on the screen so y'all can see how the black dress look but I'm gonna wear these tortoise shell sunglasses I got from Shein as well and it's just like the basic look and then I'm gonna wear my heels that I had from um my birthday which is Eric Fisher please don't mind my floor y'all I'm doing my hair <laughs> but um yeah some Eric Fisher gold heels and then I got the black dress so that's pretty much what I am wearing for today I'm super excited and yeah hey y'all it is like four hours later literally I just got done doing my makeup and my hair I did end up curling it and I put it in this little clip um it's a little claw clip I got back there so um yeah that's the look right now I still got this burn on my chest y'all from when I burnt my boob from eating a pizza roni that is so ghetto <laughs> but um anyways I got these earrings like I said from Shein the jewelry is from Shein my toes are not done so I'm actually upset but I'm gonna wear my heels with my toes out and it's gonna have to be what it is because I gotta get these photos done today and I need to um send over some stuff to the company so that way you know your girl can do what she need to do okay period <laughs> I was gonna take some photos in my complex at first but I don't really it, it be giving dirty over here like pollen they don't clean it be given they don't like it's just not luxury <laughs> you know what I'm saying so I might drive over to a uh, bucket and see if I can find a good place to take a photo real quick but yeah and I'm gonna wear this little gold bag which I know y'all seen this multiple times which I show y'all but yeah so this is the look real quick cute I ended up putting some um nails back on press-ons from my birthday which they actually all had popped off but I just put them back on with some nail glue yeah girl real ghetto <laughs> but um that's the look and this is how it looks with the sunglasses on 
honey is like giving a whole vibe okay it's giving a whole vibe like i'm just trying to go get some photos by myself in the city baby i'm in your city because i don't no i'm joking <laughs> anyway so um yeah this is the look and i'll see y'all when i get out there guys so i am on top of the roof of my parking garage and i'm about to take some photos um i got a new tripod so i know the last time you guys last time i was telling you guys that my tripod had broke but i bought a new one from amazon and your girl got the clicker honey so i can take my own photos or whatever um at first i was going to go to buckhead just to see if i can get some photos down there i don't really want to drive that far right now so i was like i'm gonna just stay in my apartment complex and see if i can find like places to take photos um i showed y'all the outfit pretty much earlier it's literally just like a big parking garage on top of the roof and it's such a beautiful day outside y'all look at this like the sun is just beaming it's just giving vitamin d it's giving beautiful um i'm not sure how the background is gonna look or whatever but it's not too bad so like i said i'm gonna set up my tripod and um we're gonna try to take some photos real quick my toes are not done so i don't know how how these photos about to look with my toes looking like this but my big toe is done like my big toenail uh the nail polish on there is done but as far as like the the rest of those toes it ain't really that much nail polish on there so hopefully i can like probably edit it or something i am having a time right now but i ended up going upstairs to change my outfit because um the black was cute but it was just something about it that was just not given and i'm not sure if i want to send it to that company so i just put the green on which y'all saw before um i don't know why this sun is like oh beaming but i put the green on which i saw before this bandeau top which i saw before as well i think i'm gonna take it without the top and then i'm gonna wear my little zebra print bag that i got from shein and um i kind of paired this outfit together before but i'm gonna wear these shoes from um semi london which they're a little dirty they super old y'all but i'm gonna just set the camera up again take some more photos and then whatever works i'll just send them both photos and they can post like the black and the green um <clears throat> and we'll just see which one looks better but yeah so that is what i'm about to do and i'm gonna have to do some editing to these photos y'all because your girl's stomach is looking real big honey and i was like oh uh -uh. that's why i need to get my ass in the gym for real but i just be feeling like unless i go to the gym at like 5 a.m or 6 a.m i just don't be having time when i'm at school and at work and stuff like that so i'm gonna try to like for real try to incorporate the gym <clears throat> into my routine because this stomach is a hell no <laughs> it's a hell no for me but yeah i'm thinking should i put these earrings back on i don't know if it's too much or not but i'm gonna put them on but anyway so let me set up and then i'll talk to y'all a little later i'm breathing bad heavy i literally left my tripod in my bag outside because these bumblebees honey these bumblebees would not leave me to hell alone even when i had on black i'm like why y'all chasing after me and i got on black but now i got on green and i'm like they're attracted to my green now like Ooh, these bumblebees honey uh -uh. look at him hold on hold on look at this look at this like he's literally waiting for me to come outside like come outside catch me outside how about that i'm literally like running around my car <laughs> running around my car like back and forth and he on this side then he came on that side then he over here and i'm like bro don't mind my crack my window y'all but like what can i just get a photo please like this is crazy Ugh why i don't understand why are you waiting for me outside like move up. go on about your day sir i'm not gonna be able to get this photo because that bumblebee was still on the ground like i got out and i was like oh shoot where's my clicker and i got back in the car to get my clicker and then i'm like well, let me close the door just in case and i turn around and this negro was sitting on the ground like he was resting on the ground i'm like the sun is literally going down but as y'all can see it's not as sunny as it was earlier today so usually bumblebees start to kind of like go back to their home or whatever after the sun kind of go down so i mean the sun is still up it's just a little cloudy right now but i just saw him he just flew away but i'm like i'm gonna give it a few more minutes because i literally been sitting in my car for like an hour waiting for this bumblebee to leave so i can take my photo i'm trying to catch daylight and like 
this is giving real stupid. Like, I can't even get my content because of a bumblebee. Like, <laughs> just real dumb. Like a weapon, she want me to put a song on a set list. I think she just do a bra at a section. Anything to get the pop, I need attention. In a cool top job, and I'm racing. Sound pretty fly for a Caucasian. Off white zip ties on a laces. When you pot, it's a lot of new faces. I cannot take it. Bad little bit, and she wearing nice fragments. Yeah, I can fall in love, this shit is stagnant. Yeah, break your heart, I ain't picking up the fragments. Long Snapchat, so they split it in a section. Yeah, she shy every time I got a neck. She like, sorry, not at home If I hit the road, I ain't got nowhere to go Baby, what you need when you say I went cold? Every day is February up inside my soul And I know you got friends, they been waiting on a split Call me late night, why you always got a dip? I'm just on the grind, I'm just trying to hit it rich Baby, how you mad, mad, but you still want me to hit? Fuck it, I'm a hit Fuck it, I'm a bolly, only got one hit You would think you went bald Hey y'all, so I wanted to come on camera to show y'all my nails Which my AC is blowing too hard <clears throat> But he basically jacked up my mother freaking nails like i did not like how he did this hand like it was coming out okay like this this one was okay but it was it's just a little messy to me and then this one looks okay but it was like these two like the middle finger and my ring finger i don't know like he was just not doing his job <laughs> like the this one was okay too and then i feel like this hand is a lot better but my middle finger is a little jacked up because my cuticles are a little messed up but um i just feel like i could not get a good photo on instagram or anything with them because this hand like i said my um, cuticles are a little jacked up on this hand but like he did this hand a lot better like this hand is better it was just giving a rush job and just doing what he wanted to do but <clears throat> For the most part, the nails are cute. Like, I do like the color. I do like the chrome, the me metallic. And they had, like, all these beautiful colors and metallics. So I'm definitely going to go back and get a different design. But, like, he just needs to, like, or one of them need to take their time and do it. But um, I'm thinking I'm going to go to my other nail salon that I always go in Buckhead. These are pretty much how my nails look up close. Just wanted to show y'all real quick. I also placed on the screen what I actually showed them versus what I actually got. to this yoga class which is in battery atlanta i'm going to battery atlanta with my co-worker they got this yoga class that starts at 6 30 it is currently 6 19 like girl so i am rushing to go there but i actually just forgot my damn wallet at the house i had to go back to my house to get my wallet because um y'all not got my hair pinned up in this little claw clip right now my phone is cracked up which um you guys probably seen before i don't know if y'all saw if y'all follow me on instagram you probably saw me post about that but my phone is cracked up so my um apple pay and all that stuff don't work so right now i have no money on me no cards i have like ten dollars cash on me or whatever in my glove department but that's it like and then my charger i have the new tra charger for the iphone 12 which i had the old one at first because that's the um the piece that i actually have for my car i don't have the car charger for the new one so i have this and my friend was actually with me and he left his charger at my house at one point i was taking him somewhere and he ended up leaving his charger in my house so i told him he could have my other charger so now i don't have a car charger i don't have my wallet don't have no cash on me except for ten dollars and i don't have you know my id and all that stuff so i was like you know what i'm not gonna be out here stranded but my phone is dying my phone is on like 35 percent so i ain't gonna be out here stranded so i gotta go back to the house basically overall <laughs> to get my wallet so that's what i'm about to do i did end up getting this yoga mat you guys and the outfit which i'll show y'all later but i got this yoga mat from marshall super freaking cute it's all green and then my nails are green so i was trying to match the whole like green aesthetic thing or whatever going so that's that 
but I'm um, rushing to go there. Oh, and my pants are green too. So I got like a whole green and black theme going on or whatever. So these are my nails, which I kind of had showed y'all before. So yeah, I do like this hand. Like this hand looks really good. Everybody be like, oh my God, girl, you look, your nails look so cute. I'd be like, thank you. Only this hand look cute. Because this hand, girl, looking ghetto as hell. I'm going to just see y'all later because I don't want to be chit-chatting it up or whatever. But uh, yeah, see y'all later. It was super packed as y'all can see so it was like really no space for us to sit down. Yeah so we just gonna go out to eat real quick and then um, probably head home because it's it's over pretty much and they said they have different events like, like every Monday or every time the Braves are not here in Atlanta so I'm just gonna get some drinks and probably some appetizers real quick. hey y'all so i wanted to come on camera and kind of give y'all a little backstory about why i am looking for couches again especially because i just told y'all in my last video that my couch was getting ready to be delivered and it actually never got delivered because they kept shipping it to the wrong address now mind you i do live in an apartment where they do valet packaging and we usually have smaller packages be delivered to a separate warehouse and they actually deliver it to our door but when i asked my leasing agent if i can get you know furniture delivered to my house how does that work and he was like just put your regular address which i did so the company that i ordered from was on amazon and was some couch on there that looks really nice it was a cream couch look very luxurious looking and i just absolutely loved it so i was like okay cool but they kept shipping it to the wrong address in atlanta and whoever they kept shipping it to kept denying it so they kept shipping it back to the warehouse in new jersey and it was just a whole long process so they it, they did end up giving me my money back um it wasn't like a horrible experience it was just like the delivery was like really stupid so i'm back out looking at ashley furniture i was looking at the dump i was looking at rooms to go just trying to find a nice cream luxurious looking couch i seen a couple of like restoration hardware's cloud dudes couch so um yeah so that's basically where i'm at and that's why i'm out here looking at couches again so yeah So this is me jumping back in from the beginning of the video so i am actually about to go back to another nail salon the one i always go to a buckhead to get my nails redone over because two of them popped and the reason my nails be popping off fast y'all is because my nails is like short little booty fingers so i'm super mad that two of them popped off already it's only been like a week not even like a week and a half probably like a week because you can see it's like not even grown out so I'm about to go do that. I'm gonna get my toes done because I didn't get a chance to get my toes done last time because it was too late. So that's what we're about to do. But we're about to get our nails done and then that's probably gonna be the end of this vlog because I need to go create some content this week for the company that I was telling y'all about. So y'all see all of that in the next vlog or the next video. Yeah, my hair looks a mess. I'm about to probably either color this hair or either put my old hair back in and then like kind of lift it with some color. So I'm gonna see y'all a little later after i get my nails done so bye i am so happy i look a mess right now my hair you girl about to get her hair done period okay but i'm so happy because i just got my nails done and this is actually the name of the place right here y'all so it's called signature nails and buckhead so like i said it's right over here by um sax off fifth if you get off the linux exit coming south you know if you're coming from the south side you get off of linux you make a left and you come over here and it's um it got like dsw old navy bed bath and beyond sax office they're right upstairs y'all gotta go to my boy lee because um look at look at these damn nails 
so first of all i'm gonna put on a screen what i saw so i actually had saw these nails before and then um i seen Aaliyah face talking about it how somebody was sending it to her and i was like oh my god i was gonna get the same design and that's freaking crazy as hell but um anyway so it kind of looked like i'm copying i'm not biting we just got the same nails whatever but like <laughs> do y'all see i don't know if y'all can see the details up close on these nails but they are ah! it's like they everything honey I should have came here and I'm so pissed because I just paid $135. So basically he charged $95 for this. And I didn't get like the rhinestone and all that stuff on there. But um, I just got like, you know, like the trimming, the gold, metallic gold around the edges. So I'll put a little small video because I was doing like an Instagram reel. So I put a small video of the actual metallic um, polish that he was using for my nails. And he literally hand painted this y'all. So my dude is very creative. Okay. I will be coming back to him. So his name is Lee. And I'm put his Instagram on the screen. He said it was nailart.lee. So I'm gonna put it on there. That's gonna be my new nail tech. Every time I come here, he's new here to this salon. And I mean, I feel like all of them are really good actually because they all do really, really good nails. So you have to really be a good nail artist in order to work at this salon. But every time I come to the salon, they always eat, like never fail. Now, the downside, my toenails, honey. I did not, <laughs> this is the second time I came here. I think it's between her and the other girl. I don't know their name but every time they put my little fake toenail on my toe they gotta build a toenail because i got no toenails they gotta build it on top of my toe they be making it so short looking like booty fingers which they already like booty toes they're already booty toes but they make them look even more like a booty toe and then she had my toe looking a little crooked which the toenail was crooked not my toe so it was just looking a little crazy but i just wanted to show y'all my nails like oh. <laughs> ah, do y'all see these nails and then he did this own design himself because he was like he couldn't really see how the thumbnail was going so he just made this up but like honey uh, oh my god honey yes sir yes sir and then i'm telling you he ate and left no crumbs baby no let me put the light on eight with no crumbs being left honey ate every last bit of these fingers up honey okay period i mean even the loop on that nail is like so freaking <gasps> it's so cute i love it ah! thank you so much lee i'm definitely coming back y'all definitely don't mind my cuticles but like oh my freaking god love them love them